Today I am in a piano store in the Los Angeles, California area, and if you're interested in coming and visiting the store because they have lots of really nice pianos, I'm going to put their info in the comment section below so you can go check it out. And if you're in the LA area, I really recommend checking out the store. They're super cool. Anyway, I wanted to do a video here about the difference between buying a used uh, concert grand piano versus buying a brand new uh, concert grand piano. And because there are some major, major advantages to buying a really, really high quality uh, used concert grand piano in great condition versus buying a brand new concert grand piano. So today I am here with a Yamaha CF piano. I believe it is rather old. Uh, one thing that I'm noticing about it is it definitely seems to have ivory keys. My fingers are really sticking to the keys. They can squeak a little bit. You're probably hearing that. I got a recorder right here. They don't do that on plastic keys. These are ivory keys. They have grain. And ivory keys are fantastic for uh, pianos because you can, your fingers really stick to them and it can take a little bit getting used to, uh, but they're really, really fantastic. The action is absolutely amazing too. Honestly, as a whole, I would say this piano is honestly 95% of what a brand new Yamaha CFX would be. Uh, the action is really great and I think with maybe a couple hours of regulation, it could really be brought up extremely close, if not on par with a brand new piano. It, as it stands right now, it plays absolutely fantastically. It's responsive, it's quick, it's nimble. You can play light and slow and get a massive dynamic range out of the piano with the action that you have installed in it right now and also the sound of the piano is absolutely fantastic it's it hasn't been played heavily throughout its life in fact I'm not sure how much has been played at all it's uh, it sounds warm it has an extremely powerful bass uh, it's so much fun to play the treble is really nice and and bright and sparkly and it really competes with the treble excellent I mean the bass excellently and uh, you know it's an amazing piano, and but what's amazing about it, what's really amazing about it, is that the price point of this piano is like 25% that of a new Yamaha CFX piano would be, and uh, that to me is just absolutely incredible, and it's really something that uh, piano buyers should really look into. Um, and what's also awesome about this piano is that even though it's old, from the outside, it really looks like it's new and the finish is perfect. A lot of the times with these high gloss pianos, you get scratches in them. This one somehow does not have scratches uh, like almost at all over it. There are some cosmetic uh, and only cosmetic issues on the soundboard. The, uh, the finish and the veneer on the soundboard has uh, lots of little lines in it, but that's completely cosmetic. It's not affecting the sound of the piano at all. And if you bought this piano, uh, right now the strings are great. They do have some slight tarnishing at the moment, which is completely cosmetic. But later on down the road, if you notice the, the strings, you wanted them to be replaced. When, you're, when they're replacing the strings, uh, you could have the rebuilders or uh, technicians uh, sand and buff out the uh, the soundboard replaced the decal on it and it would look brand new. And if you did woodworking, you could probably even do that yourself. I can't imagine it would be that difficult. And uh, so it's merely cosmetic, the only issues this piano has. It's really fantastic. So that's really something to keep an eye out for when you're in the uh, market for a piano. If you're looking for a concert ground or really even any size piano, to look for extremely high quality used pianos versus brand new pianos because you'll save a lot of money and you'll still get a really, really good piano. So hopefully you found this video informative and helpful. Um, it's something that's very important to think about when you're buying a piano. And so if you like this video, you can go check out my content. I have lots of videos talking about stuff like this, as well as demos of pianos that you might be interested in buying. And uh, make sure to go check out that content. If you like it, you can think about subscribing. And if you do, thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.